We're here at Pave Fuel today and what we're going to do is we're going to go over our elite suction system. Um, part of our system here is our power pack system. And this is going to come with our A1 package and a few of the other packages that are out there. Allowing you to use it to pick up uh, granite stones, wet cast products, um, and items like that. And what we want to do in this video today is we're going to discuss how the power pack works and also some uh, helpful tips for you guys out on the job site. Maybe you need to troubleshoot something or you feel like the power pack is not working uh, properly. So the power pack here is a system that you can uh, see is very quiet. The system turns on, creates enough pressure to pick your products and then actually shuts off and holds that vacuum. So it's a very quiet solution for picking up products as well as it simply just runs off a DeWalt battery. So just a simple battery like this, you plug it in, turn it on, and your unit's ready to go. So there's no hoses, there's no electrical cords going back to a house or a generator on your job site, or there's no air compressor um, like other suction equipment out there. So this system, we're going to go over a couple things. First, I'm going to touch on the porosity of the products. Next, we're going to go through some troubleshooting if you're not getting the proper suction. So a big confusion in the industry, the hardscape industry, is is the product porous or is it non-porous? And a lot of people think when we're talking about a porous product, we're, they're thinking about texture. But really it's not the texture. A natural stone such as this that's totally non-porous can have very textured surface and the suction equipment will still pick it up. Um, that's the purpose of a soft um, foam here that can actually mend to the stone and create that seal that we need. Um, so going to the porous product, when we're talking porous, we're talking about a manufactured stone. What happens is they bring concrete together, use very little moisture, which gets a lot of PSI out of it, and it's actually faster to produce. Um, so it's a, it's a typical product that's gonna come out of your manufactured plant, but it is porous, so we need to be careful when we're talking about suction equipment and picking up a porous stone. Uh, manufacturers will also make a wet cast stone, which is what the power pack is on now. A wet cast stone is just like when you pour a concrete floor. They're pouring it into a mold um, with, a, with a very uh, liquidy product and it sets up and this will actually seal up all those pores. So it doesn't look like a sponge anymore, it looks like a nice solid block and the suction equipment works awesome on it. Also here over to my left is a wet cast product as well. Uh, just in a step form and uh, so I just wanted to show you there that we can pick up large pieces of stone such as this on my left um, just using a larger pad but a product like this whether it's large or small this is still a porous product and suction with our standard power pack will not work because of the flow that it creates. So now I'm just going to review how to hook up the power pack to a pad couple of tips and tricks going through there and then also show you how the gauge will go up build up pressure so we're going to take our hose one of the biggest things um, that we find that's really simple to mess up is just when you're connecting the connector onto the pad so when you push it on make sure that it goes all the way on and it's not disconnected or um, partially on because we found that happens so just make sure that you got a good solid connection. Once we do that, next step is to turn on the power pack. Then you're gonna see me actually push out on the pad. Since we're picking up an irregular stone, it's gonna take just a little bit of pressure to push down, create that seal, and then we'll start seeing that gauge go up. So now we can see that the gauge has gone up it's holding the air pressure. We can also see that our power pack has known that it's up to its um, needed pressure to pick up our product. And you'll see that it'll actually drop down and kick back on, but that'll be after about a minute and a half to two minutes. But now we know that you can pick up your product, you can move it wherever you need to, and you'd be all set to pick it up. So now we've moved over to the dry cast product that we have here. I wanna show you guys how the power pack reacts when we try suctioning it down to a dry cast product. We'll see that the suction gauge will only uh, get up to maybe five PSI, and we'll also see that the power pack will continue to run. So we'll do that now. 
Pushing down, try to create suction. I can see that it's gone up to the five PSI, but yet we can also see that the power pack is running. It's not turning off. So this is a key um, way to know that your power pack is trying to pick up a Porsche product and it's not creating that seal. Now we're gonna specifically talk about troubleshooting the power pack and if we're losing air. Number one, obviously, we gotta make sure that we're working with a non-porous product. In this situation, we do have a natural stone, which this piece, we do know for a fact that it is non-porous. Um, let's say we're still losing suction. We kinda wanna work our way from the pad then back to the power pack to uh, troubleshoot. So first, we wanna turn it over, look at the bottom of the pad, and make sure that this is creating a good solid seal. If it's not, and we notice a very large rip or something along that lines, then actually what we have here, what I'm showing today, is a 3M stage two, and this is a yellow super weather strip and gasket adhesive. Um, so the benefit to this is that it is still flexible then um, once it dries, which obviously we're always dealing with a flexible foam. So that's the benefit of that gasket glue. Um, so let's make sure that we got that glued up. That's making a good solid seal. And then we're gonna start working our way back to the power pack, like I said. So the next area for loss of air can actually be right through um, the air fitting or even the fittings going into the pad. So the way we wanna test that is again, we're gonna stand this up on end. We're gonna take our finger, we're gonna stick it into the hole here and seal it off. So sealing it off with our finger, we can then turn on the power pack. I can actually feel a little bit of suction on my finger and that should hold air again for about a minute and a half to two minutes. If it does that, then we know that our power pack is holding air through this situation. And again, we're losing air through our pad. And the other place for an air loss is through the suction gauge since it's obviously another hole in the pad. You can simply take that off, do the same thing, cover that hole, make sure that we're not losing air. If we are losing air, um, just using some pipe thread, putting it on there and screwing that back on should solve that problem. So the next location that we're gonna talk about is then between the power pack and this end fitting. The first part that we wanna check is gonna be our filter location. So just by pulling this apart, then pulling out the filter. This is a filter, this is replaceable as well. Um, so make sure you replace this uh, seasonally. Also, this has a hole here that we can just cover up again with our finger, turn the power pack on, it shuts off, and we're looking for that minute and a half to two minutes of holding air. If that's good and sealed properly, then we're gonna assemble the filter kit again and keep working our way out. So now we got our filter kit assembled. Again, we're gonna turn on our power pack. System builds up air and we're gonna check to see if it's holding it for that minute and a half to two minutes, which we do in this system. But if not, um, if it wasn't holding air, then it could be due to our fitting here at the end, um, either broken or just not holding air properly. Um, same thing with the, with the pipe thread. Um, you could reseal this end to make sure that it's not that. And then also, another problem that can happen is actually your hose getting kinked over time, uh, wearing out, and even getting rips in it um, could cause an area for air loss. So just double check those areas um, to make sure that you're all set. But if not, then we got a closed system. The, the system should work properly. And if you got any further questions though, just contact us here at Pave Tool at 860-870-8665 and we can talk you through anything to help you out troubleshooting the power pack.